Welcome to Be Wise, information about cannabis for older adults. Brought to you by Active Aging Canada, a national charity that supports older adults living well and remaining active. Production for this podcast was made possible through a financial contribution from Health Canada's Substance Use and Addictions Program. Now, let's go to the Active Aging Canada studios and join National Executive Director Patty Clark and Ward Maxwell, Director of Marketing and Communications. Today, talking with your doctor about cannabis use. We know older adults are interested in whether cannabis can help them, which is understandable as cannabis is being promoted more and more for its health benefits. But that puts many doctors into a difficult position. Many members of the medical community hesitate to prescribe cannabis or may recommend against using it. And that's because there's so little scientific evidence about the risks and benefits, especially for older adults. And we've been stressing this throughout our podcast that we are speaking to you about the evidence that we have today. The Canadian Medical Association has said that this makes it hard for physicians to give good advice to their patients and to manage doses and side effects. So this requires a frank and open conversation between you and your healthcare provider. In our previous podcast, we gave you a series of questions you could ask yourself to help organize your thoughts about using cannabis. And if you did ask yourself those questions, then you should be ready to talk to your doctor so that you can make a treatment plan together. And if your family doctor does not feel comfortable advising on cannabis use or feels he or she doesn't have the training in cannabis prescription, you might choose to go to a cannabis clinic or a licensed dispensary. But please remember, this is really important. Even if your doctor doesn't feel that they know enough about cannabis to prescribe it to you, your family doctor still plays a really important role in your treatment. For instance, your family doctor can identify the risks for you, such as drug interactions. So when your doctor is involved, you'll know you'll have all the information you need when you go elsewhere to get medical or therapeutic cannabis. Here's some sample questions we prepared for you to ask your doctor. First, be direct. Ask your doctor, do you think cannabis can work for me? Once you've started the conversation, ask, are there health impacts or side effects I should be concerned about? Similarly, you'll want to ask your doctor, will cannabis interact with any medications I'm taking now? A good question to ask is, Will using cannabis allow me to stop taking any prescription drugs I'm taking now? And a question you should be sure to ask is, what is the safest way for me to take cannabis given my medical history? Another question you should ask is, am I at risk of becoming dependent on cannabis? What are the signs I should watch out for? And finally, the question you probably ask after every checkup And a question you definitely want to ask if you're considering using cannabis, how often should I follow up with you? Well, that's it for today's podcast. Join us next week for our final podcast on dosing and your health condition. Thanks, Patty. Thanks, Ward. Talk to you next week. Well, that's all the time we have for today. For more information, go to activeagingcanada.ca where you can order a copy of our Be Wise booklet. It's available in 17 languages and is free. The views expressed in this podcast do not necessarily represent the views of Health Canada Substance Use and Addictions Program. Join us for our next podcast. And until then, remember to be active, be healthy, and be wise.